Coming to Sunday worship is an oddity. 嚟到星期日嘅崇拜其實係有啲詭異嘅。We come to worship a God we cannot see. 我哋嚟敬拜一個神係一個我哋看唔見嘅神。We hear and yet we do not see. We do not hear. 我哋去嚟到又聽唔見又好似看唔見咁樣。And so the question for all of us. 咁所以對於我哋嚟講嘅問題就係、是、Why do you come? 點解你要嚟咧？ Why do you come here every Sunday? 點解你每個星期日都要嚟到呢度咧 ？Now, for most of us, for many of us, the easy answer is. 對於大部分嘅人嚟講，或者所有人嚟講，最簡單嘅答案就係。We think it's God's commandment that we should do. 因為呢個係神嘅界面，所以我哋要做。Now that's a really good reason. 呢個一個幾好嘅原因。But the more important question for each of us. 但係對於我哋每一個更重要嘅問題就係。Is how do you come to worship? Now, some of us might come with a very detached attitude. 咁有啲咧嚟到咧好似好分體式咁嘅。That means you're here. 即係話你喺度。You're here physically. 你人在。Ah, but you might not be here mentally. 心不在。You might not be here spiritually. 你靈不在。We might not even be here in any sense of the word. 甚至乎用言語都講唔出你邊度喺度在。Other than our bodies are present. 除咗你嘅肉體喺呢度之外。Now maybe some of you are here because you like the the songs. 或者你嚟到呢度，因为你中意听呢度嘅诗歌。You know, it's beautiful to, to be able to sing together. 能够一起去唱歌系件美丽嘅事情。Now there are some of you who might come because you want to critique the sermon. 又或者有啲人嚟到咧，你系想批评呢个嘅讲道噶。Or maybe you're hoping to hear something might be useful to you. 又或者你希望听到一啲嘢对你系有用。There are many reasons for being here this morning. 今日早晨嚟到呢一度有好多唔同嘅原因。But are you here to meet the Almighty God？ 但系你唔系嚟呢度去见呢个全知全能嘅神咧 ？In this passage of Isaiah， 喺以赛亚书呢篇嘅经文入边 ，we see an amazing encounter with God。我哋睇到一个同神一个好奇妙嘅相遇。Now this encounter of Isaiah， 以赛亚嘅呢个相遇 ，is a real one。係一個真實嘅。Because we give a very specific information about that this encounter. 因為講到呢個嘅相遇有好具體嘅嘢背後。At a specific time that it takes place. 有具體嘅時間同地點。It tells us that Isaiah meets the Lord during the the year、uh, the good king of Judah、uh, Uzziah dies. 佢講到佢相遇嘅時代咧，就係喺猶太王烏西亞王嘅駕崩嘅七百四十年前嘅主前嘅時間。And so in history, it's about 740 BC. 喺主前七百四十年。And so Isaiah is not just having a vision and or a dream. 所以以賽亞呢度唔係就係見到一個見到或者一個發緊夢。It tells us he actually sees the Lord. 佢係真係見到主嘅。Ah, in theology, it's called the、uh, theophany. 喺神學嘅用詞裏邊，呢個叫做一個異象，一個神自我顯現嘅現象。Now,、uh, one of my professors at、uh, Westman， 誒、uh, 黃牧師喺西敏寺神學院嘅教授 ，Vern Porter says this， 就係弗恩波爾斯雷斯教授咁樣講。A theophany is an appearance of God, an intense manifestation of the presence of God that is accompanied by an extraordinary visual display. 佢話：神自我顯現嘅呢個現象係神嘅顯現，伴隨住超然視覺顯示嘅強烈體驗。That's all good information。一啲好好嘅資料。But what is important here？ 但重要嘅係 ，is that this encounter is the with the Lord Himself。呢個嘅相遇就係同主佢本身。And so the Lord God's person is described in this marvelous。Beauty and splendor to for us. So, he sitting on high and lofty on the throne of God. He's sitting on high and lofty upon His royal throne. He's sitting on high and lofty upon His royal throne. He's sitting on high and lofty upon His royal throne. He's sitting on high and lofty upon His royal throne. He's sitting on high and lofty upon His royal throne. He's sitting on high and lofty upon His royal throne. He's sitting on high and lofty upon His royal throne. He's sitting on high and lofty upon His royal throne. He's sitting on high and lofty upon His royal throne. He's sitting on high and lofty upon His royal throne. He's sitting on high and lofty upon His royal throne. He's sitting on high and lofty upon His royal throne. He's sitting on high and lofty upon His royal throne. He's sitting on high and lofty upon His royal throne. He's sitting on high Can you imagine this picture in your mind? In your mind, you can imagine this picture in your mind. And it tells us now that he's not only、uh, sitting on this throne, but it tells us of the seraphim that attends to him. He not only sits on this throne, but the seraphim that attends to him. He not only sits on this throne, but the seraphim that attends to him. He not only sits on this throne, but the seraphim that attends to him. 
in their service to God, they now give us a clue of how we should be worshiping God. It tells us with two wings they cover their faces. That means they do not dare to even look upon the holy God. They cover their faces in humbleness before the Lord. Helps us to understand, therefore, as we come in the presence of the Holy God, we need to come in humbleness because of who He is and who we are. That we're creatures not worthy to be in the presence of God. But we have this wonderful privilege. To be in God's presence today. And it is as with two wings, they cover their feet. I always wonder why they would cover their feet. Now, if you look at your feet, you will understand why. The feet are not the, the best part of our bodies. Yeah, it's, uh, it's probably one of the least uh, appealing parts of our body. But once again, it shows us how they consider their unworthiness to be before the Lord. Do you know that you're not worthy of being in the presence of God? And then it tells us then with two, the two remaining wings, they flew. They were flying around the Lord. In other words, they were prepared to serve their God. And they cried out, holy, holy, holy. Is the Lord of hosts. And so we see that their service before their God was a constant praise of their God. He's declaring, they're declaring his glory upon all the earth. Now, some of you might be thinking, if you saw the appearance of God right now, you might be singing his praises too. And you know, we come to worship every Sunday. And you say, we don't ever have been given this kind of appearance of God. And matter of fact, it's quite, we, we're, we're experiencing quite the opposite. Because we talked about the, uh, the commandments of God, the second commandment of God. And it tells us we can have no representation or image of God. And that sort of gives us an excuse that we can sit here doing worship and be absent. You know, God must know how hard it is to worship uh, when we can't see any visible object or uh, to focus our worship upon. Isaiah had an advantage over us, didn't he? Did he really have an advantage over us? John chapter 4 says, The hour is coming and is now here. When the true worshipers will worship the Father in spirit and truth, for the Father is seeking such people to worship him. God is spirit, and those who worship him must worship in spirit and truth. Our God is spirit. And he cannot be represented by any physical object 
or any visible representation of him. Jesus in telling us as worshippers of God. The God of truth is found in his word. And as we worship in truth and in spirit, it points to our hearts. The very essence of our entire being. Although Isaiah had the help of seeing the very appearance of God, as believers, true worshippers, we have an even greater help the true helper, the very spirit of the living God, dwelling in our hearts, the indwelling of the Holy Spirit gives believers more than just a visual appearance of the Holy God. Because if we have a visible appearance of God, we realize upon the, uh, the person to focus the rest of his being about experiencing God. The Holy Spirit addresses our very own hard experience. We're not just seeing an appearance of God. But we have the very presence of God in our hearts. And this should be the experience of every true worshiper. That worship doesn't, doesn't become therefore a Sunday chore. It doesn't become a Sunday routine. It should be a desired encounter. An, uh, an occasion where we look forward to the rest of the week. We look forward with joyful anticipation. Meeting our God in worship. A heart that grasps this, grasps the grace of God, that He has afforded us this privilege to meeting with Him. So, why do some not feel this way? So, we have to ask, why are we here? Is it some misguided notion? That somehow you're just meeting the requirements of God? That being here somehow answers that question. Maybe some of us think it's an opportunity to meet up with friends that we haven't seen for a week. You know, it's fun to be able to catch up, to say hi. It's not a bad thing. But hopefully, coming on Sunday is more about meeting the Lord. And so upon this encounter of Isaiah meeting the Lord, he immediately recognizes and acknowledges his sinfulness. Today in uh, adult Sunday school, we learned about uh, making confession. About sins. And uh, we were told that we don't confess our sins enough. Isaiah, upon meeting God, being in the very presence of God, now does this. He, he becomes very clear that he's a man with unclean lips. 
not only himself, but he living among people with unclean lips. In other words, as we sit here, we recognize that that we are sinners and all those that are sitting with us are sinners. And so I, Isaiah has no illusion about himself. He's also clear about the nature of the world around him. And he cries out, woe is me. Now Isaiah definitely was one of God's prophets. He was considered a great prophet. So Isaiah can surely therefore experience this because he was a close servant of God. And you might say, we're not. We're far from being great servants of God. But it tells us in Matthew 11, Truly I say to you, among those born of women, there has arisen no one greater than John the Baptist. Yet the one who is least in the kingdom of heaven is greater than he. Isaiah was a great prophet of God, a great servant. God tells us that believers today are greater because they're called the children of God. That in Christ, they are brothers and sisters with him. So believers have been given what John uh, Isaiah was, did not have. He did not have the very presence of God in his heart. However, we're also told in Romans chapter 12, not to think too highly of ourselves, but to have a sober judgment about who we are. So being greater doesn't mean that we're more holy. It does mean that we have a greater relationship and understanding of who God is and who we are. And so Isaiah is telling us to see the death of our sinfulness. So especially now as we come to worship him. And we stand in his presence. The presence of the holy God. So we were given this privilege to meet with God every Sabbath Sunday. So right now, do you cry out, woe is me? And we see therefore how the Lord greets Isaiah's claim of sinfulness. And he greets Isaiah with his amazing grace. See, God is always faithful to his promise. To forgive sin in Christ Jesus. No matter how great or how small. If we confess our sins. And so the seraph takes a coal from the altar. And touches Isaiah's lips. And pronounces that his guilt has been taken away and his sins atoned for. The altar that that coal comes from is the altar upon which the sacrifice of Christ was given. The body of Christ was broken. And the blood of Christ was poured out upon. As payment for our sins. To see the sacrifice of Christ is eternal. And that sacrifice 
although it happened some physically some 2,000 years ago. Is eternal and reaches all the way back to the Old Testament. 但系因为佢嘅永恒性，佢系达到嘅时间系比嗰二千年前推到更远古。Before he was born into this world. 喺佢出世喺呢个世界之前。And it's also present for us today. 亦都系今日都同样生效。And into the future for all eternity. 直至到将来去到永恒。Now you have this opportunity. 你现在有呢个机会。To come before the Lord. 嚟到主嘅面前。And to do like Isaiah. 就好似以賽亞所做嘅。Woe is me！ 我禍在。I have seen the Lord, the host of heaven and earth。我今日見到嘅就係天地萬物創造嘅主。So having received the grace of God， 我哋得到神嘅恩典。Isaiah immediately responds to God's call。以賽亞即刻回應神嘅呼召。I think he doesn't hesitate for a moment. 一刻都冇猶豫。He doesn't take time to to consider、uh, what is needed. 唔需要考慮乜嘢係需要。He doesn't consider where he's going. 亦都唔考慮要去邊一度。He doesn't even consider how of God's call. 諗都冇諗過神點樣去呼召佢。And you know, too often. 好多時候。Some of us are hindered. 我哋好多嘅阻擋。By some consideration of an or another. 唔同嘅顧慮。Sometimes we're considering what does it involve God's call to me. 会考虑到神嘅对我嘅呼召包含咗啲乜嘢嘢 ？What is He calling me to do? What is He calling me to serve? 佢叫我做啲乜嘢嘢？叫我去侍奉啲乜嘢嘢 ？We think, will it be safe? 我哋就会谂，安唔安全噶 ？I guess if, if it might be a consideration if you were a missionary. 我谂如果你系诶呢个宣教士，你会考虑。But even though we're not, we still think is it safe? 就算我哋唔係專家時，我哋居然會去考慮安全。Sometimes we might think, will it be appreciated？ 我哋就會諗會唔會受到欣賞嘅咧 ？Will what God's calling me to do be meaningful？ 有冇意義嘅咧 ？Will it be useful？ 有冇用噶 ？And on and on with all sorts of considerations。諸如此類。Isaiah's enthusiastic reply。以賽亞用一個熱烈嘅回應。It's because he received, just received. The grace of God. Because he 啱啱就得著神嘅恩典 Grace that took away his sins and are basically accounted for the guilt of that sin. 嘅恩典大到就系可以将佢嘅罪同埋佢关于罪一切嘅罪疚都全部去拿开 No matter where you are today. 无论你今日身在何处 Just ask for God's grace. 只系需要向神去恳求呢个恩典 That God's grace that will even now take you back to when you first came to know the Lord Jesus Christ. 神嘅恩典会将你带到去当日你点样去认识主嗰一日开始。Will you receive that forgiveness and His righteousness? 你嗰日就得到佢嘅饶恕，得到佢嘅公义。That's part of God's grace. 呢个就系神恩典嘅一部分。That takes you back to appreciate what God has done and what He is continuing to do for your life. 带到你去知道神为你所做嘅一切，你嘅感恩同埋佢将会喺你生命所做嘅一切。So in Isaiah's acknowledgement of his unworthiness， 所以当以赛亚认知到佢自己嘅不配嘅时候 ，God calls him to be a messenger to the people。神就呼召佢成为对佢子民嘅一个信差。He never asks where, when, or how。佢从来都冇问去边度、点样、怎样去。He just says, send me。佢就话差遣我。And Isaiah is given a very particular mission. And we see that Isaiah has been called to a ministry of fertility. That Isaiah would now go and proclaim to the people. This wonderful message of God. The message of God's forgiveness and love. Yet he is to bring to this to the people. 冇錯，佢係要帶到俾呢啲子民。That have ears to hear， 有耳朵可聽嘅。Eyes to see， 有眼睛可見嘅。And a heart to understand， 亦都有一個心能夠去明白嘅。But he's told， 但係佢被告知。God says they can hear， but they will not understand。佢哋聽，但係唔明白。Ah， they can see， but not perceive。看，但係唔曉得。They have hearts， but they are therefore dull。佢心蒙之油。So Isaiah is being charged by the Lord to work in a way 
that actually brings about a hardening of the heart of these people. 咁換句話嚟講，神差遣以賽亞去做嘅工作，其實就會令到呢啲人好似睇落去其實唔啱。So、the the 所以呢啲人有呢個得救嘅信息，有呢個救恩恩典嘅信息。But they will not be saved. 但係佢哋係唔會被得救嘅。Their ears. 佢哋嘅耳朵。The normal way of hearing. 雖然能夠聽見。Uh, can no longer hear the message of truth. 卻唔聽見呢個真理嘅信息。Uh, they have eyes that they normally use to see. 有眼睛係比平時去看見。They they will be blinded. They will not see the light of salvation. 佢哋卻被蒙蔽，唔能夠聽到救恩嘅呢件事情。And their hearts. 佢哋嘅心。That what they could use to grasp and understand this wonderful message of salvation. 佢哋雖然能夠明白、聽到呢件信息。Have been made so callous and so gross that they cannot perceive. And understand this wonderful message. 但係卻係不可理會嘅，佢仍然唔能夠去願意接受呢個得救嘅信息。See the content of the message. 所以呢個嘅信息嗰個嘅內容。The gospel message is of salvation and forgiveness and freedom from sin. 嗰個福音嘅內容就係包括救恩呢個饒恕同埋罪得赦免。However, it's the hardening of the heart. 但係就因為剛硬嘅心。And not because the message is wrong. 唔係因為個信息嘅錯誤。But the depravity of people's hearts. It is human beings' lack of compassion. It makes it so that they will not be able to receive this wonderful message of grace. It is not able to receive this wonderful message of grace. Depravity. This depravity. That refuses the message. They refuse this message. They refuse to even admit that they need to be saved. Even they refuse to admit that they need to be saved. And it's the poverty that leads the heart to this apathy towards God's grace. 甚至乎就係呢個嘅敗壞，讓佢哋嘅心對神嘅恩典漠不關心。So this was the message that Isaiah was to bring to the nation of Judah. 而呢個信息正正就係以賽亞要帶俾猶大國嘅。But it's also a very stern warning to us today. 對於我哋今日嚟講，其實都係一個好嚴峻嘅警告。We are called the people of God. 我哋被呼召為神嘅子民。But that doesn't preclude. What happened to Judah from happening to us? But it doesn't mean we cannot experience the same thing as the people of Judah. And we see Isaiah, this, this great, wonderful prophet of God, has a great love for his people. And he basically agonizes over this task that God has just given to him. And so he responds to God by saying, How long? 佢就回應神嘅題目就係話：這要到幾時為止咧 ？As a minister of the grace of God, he asks, "How long?" 作為神嘅呢個使者，佢就問：這要到幾時為止咧 ？In Psalm one hundred three, it says, 詩篇一百零三篇咁。The Lord is merciful and gracious, slow to anger, and abounding in steadfast love. 耶和华有怜悯，有恩典，不轻易发怒，并且丰盛嘅慈爱。See Isaiah in his own very own experience knows that this is the God he loves。以赛亚心里边知道佢所爱嘅神系就系咁样嘅。This is the God that he knows。呢个系佢认知嘅神。He and he wants to know。佢好想知道。How long will the people continue in their hardness of heart？ 佢想知道呢啲子民嘅心眼要到幾時為止 ？How long will they continue with a hardened heart？ 佢哋呢個剛硬嘅心要持續到幾時為止 ？That is a question that is raised to us today。呢條問題同樣今日亦都對我哋去發問。Now there's no sugar coating this。當中我哋冇任何糖衣嘅理論。How long will you sit here in Sunday worship？ 你喺星期日嘅崇拜要坐呢度坐到幾時 ？And throughout the week。成個禮拜 ，with ears that hear but not understand， 有耳朵卻不明白 ，eyes to see but not perceive， 有眼睛看見卻不曉得 ，and hearts that are dull， 心蒙豬油。It is good to know， 好嘅，我哋可以知道 ，that back then， 當其時 ，the people of Judah， 猶太人 ，they attended worship every Sabbath at the temple。每一個主日，佢哋都會去到聖殿去參加崇拜。It's a regular occurrence. 經常地發生。If you were Jewish, you went to temple for worship every Sabbath. 
你係猶太人，你每個主日你都會去到敬拜。Where we many of us come faithfully every Sunday. 我哋好多人好信实嘅，每个星期都嚟到。But what is the true condition of your heart? 但系你嘅心真实嘅状况系点 ？See, we can't hide the truth of our hearts from the Lord. 你知道喺主嘅面前，我哋唔能够将心嘅情况去隐藏。In Revelation 16, it says. 喺呢个嘅创世记启示录咁样讲到。And I heard the Lord,、uh, heard the altar saying, "Yes, Lord." God, the Almighty, true and just are your judgments. He said, "I heard the altar say, 'The Lord of the heavens is the true and just God, the Almighty, true and just.'" Your judgments are true and just. See, God makes His pronouncement of judgment upon the, the nation of Judah. God makes His pronouncement of judgment upon the nation of Judah. And the hardened hearts of, the,、uh, of the, the, that people. And the hardened hearts of 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 that people. 佢就發出咗呢一個嘅審判嘅呼叫。And it's a warning to us today. 對我哋今日係一個好大嘅警號。So as you come every、uh, each Sunday， 所以當你每個星期日嚟到，你聽見神嘅話語。You hear the word of the Lord. 話語。You know, no matter how how badly preached， 無論講得幾差都好。Should produce a response to Christ。一定會產生個對基督嘅回應。See the hardness of the heart shows up in your apathy to the will and call of God. 所以你心嘅硬，其實係顯示出你對神嗰個嘅基督嘅呼召嘅漠不關心。How can you tell that the apathy in your heart？ 你點樣去睇到你嘅心嘅境況咧 ？When there is no change in your life day to day after you come to worship every Sunday。當你每個星期日去完崇拜之後，你發覺你每日嘅生活係冇任何改變嘅時候。See, it's not faith to just think. Uh, and easy to say that you believe in Christ. 就係講你信，你諗你信，唔代表就係一個嘅信心。Because if you truly believe, you don't just walk out every Sunday. 因為如果你真係相信嘅時候，你星期日完咗崇拜，你行出去。Not doing the same old normal things that you do. 你唔會做翻你平時會做嘅嘢。Not in the service of Christ. 唔會因為咁樣唔會喺基督入邊嘅事工入邊。That's the apathy of your heart. 呢個就係你內心嘅嗰種冷漠。Truly worshiping the Lord, 真正去敬拜主 means it changes the way you live your life every day. 系会改变你每日生活嘅模式。So when you be ready to answer a God's call, 当你去准备回应神嘅呼召嘅时候 ，says whom shall I send? 去问到我可以差遣谁咧 ？And who will go for us? 谁可以为我去咧 ？The commitment to go wherever. 承諾去到天涯海角 ，whatever， 無論邊一度 ，means that you go with great energy, great zeal, a great attitude， 會帶住一個最好嘅心態、最好嘅力量 ，of your mind and heart， 你嘅全心全意。So no matter what kind of work that God calls you to， 所以無論神呼召你做咩工作都好 ，it might be a menial work， 可能好瑣碎嘅。You know menial things like cleaning up after lunch， 瑣碎到就可以星期日食完飯叫你去做清潔。Or even if there's no appreciable， 啊、uh, ，you know fruit to what you do， 又或者一啲無人欣賞嘅工作。You know, like going out to the neighborhood and maybe knocking on doors and people won't open the doors. 或者去到周圍鄰居去敲門，甚至乎都冇人開門或者。And you might feel that it's basically a waste of time. 可能覺得根本就浪費時間。Ah, but it doesn't matter if you answer God's call. 但係只要你回應神嘅呼召，呢個係唔重要嘅。So even if you don't have any personal reward from your service. 或者你去侍奉嘅時候冇任何個人嘅回報。You know, like trying teaching Chinese school, 或者去教中文學校 ，or visiting the Park Meadow、uh, Rehab Center， 去探訪老人院。You know, it's an endless、um, list of things that you can do in your participation of answering God's call。去回應神嘅呼召，需要你參與嘅事情嘅清單係無盡無止嘅。But see, when you answer God's call， 但係當你去回應神嘅呼召嘅時候 ，you share the load， 你就去分享呢一個嘅喜樂。But also you share the joy. 亦都分享呢個嘅負擔。Of serving the Lord. 去主嗰度侍奉。See Isaiah stepped forward because he saw the glory of the Lord. 而蔡之所以能夠踏前，因為佢看見主嘅榮耀。Have you seen the glory of the Lord in your life? 喺你生命裏邊，你有冇見過主嘅榮耀 
The answer should be yes. 个答案应该系有嘅。Because you would need have the spirit of God in you. 因为你有圣灵喺你入边啊。God's answer to Isaiah's inquiry was very, very harsh. 但系神答以赛亚嘅呢个嘅问题，佢系好呢个嘅残酷。How long? 佢話要到幾時咧 ？Until the cities are empty， 佢話要直到城一荒涼，冇人居住。The fields become desolate， 將人要去遷到遠方。And the people taken away， 所有人要去到遠方。God who had brought the people out of Egypt into this promised land， 神將佢嘅子民從埃及帶到呢度應許之地。The very same people God's going to take away and remove from the land， 同樣佢將呢班人會去遷移到其他嘅地方。The judgment of God spoken to Isaiah. 神对以赛亚所讲嘅呢个审判 is fulfilled. 系会被实现。As the nation of Judah falls to the hands of in the hands of the Babylonians. 因为犹大国将会被巴比伦人所侵灭。Judah was laid waste. 犹大系荒废。And most of the inhabitants taken in captivity, for example, like Daniel. 佢嘅居民包括咗但以理被掳。This is a bleak picture. 一个好凄凉嘅图画。But in this bleak picture is a sliver of hope. 但系呢个凄凉嘅图画入边，我哋仍然见到一丝嘅希望。As God announced that there will be a remnant of ten percent. 因为神宣布呢度又有十分一嘅余民。There's an estimate today. 今日嘅估计。This is approximately six million evangelical Christians. 呢个世界大概有六亿嘅福音派基督徒。That would make it close to ten percent of all the population of the world. 大概呢个世界人口嘅十分一。I did say six hundred million, right? 你讲 six hundred million 系 evangelical Christians, right? Yes. Okay. And so you can consider the church today. 你可以谂下我哋今日嘅教会。That like the remnant that remained that God said to Isaiah. 就等于当日以赛亚被神告知嘅余民一样。But then God said to Isaiah that there would be judgment even that would compound in the remnant of the of the ten percent. 但系神亦都讲到，就算喺余民当中，仍然都会有呢个嘅审判。So even as he speaks about this, he says this tenth will also be burned, face fire. 佢讲到，就算嗰个十分一嘅余民都系会被烧毁嘅。But he then again says there still be a stump that remains. 但系佢讲到当中有呢个嘅树墩子系会存留。I don't know if you ever chopped down a tree before. 我唔知你之前有冇试过斩树。You cut the tree at the stump. 你喺嗰个树茎嗰度去斩。Doesn't mean it dies. 唔等于佢死噶。You will find that it, it you will find a shoot grow,、uh, growing up from it often. 你好多时候会发觉喺嗰度斩完之后都仲继续会生噶。So in this desolate picture, so 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 in this desolate picture, And preserved by the grace of God. 亦都俾神嘅恩典去保存。The true people, the elect of God. 真正神所拣选嘅子民。Who are his, who are true worshippers? 就系真正嘅敬拜者。This holy seed. 呢一个嘅圣洁嘅种子。Are the recipients of the promise of God's salvation. 就系对神应许救恩嘅承受者。And we will see the realization of this. Promise. 我哋睇到呢一个嘅应许嘅实现。In the one and only holy seed, Jesus Christ. 就系透过唯一嘅呢个圣洁种子耶稣基督。So God's promise that is fulfilled in Christ. 就会喺耶稣基督身上去应验。As he goes to the cross to pay for our sins. 因为佢踏上十字架为我哋去负罪，十字架。The same salvation. 同样嘅救恩。Of the grace that Isaiah received. 以赛亚所接受嘅恩典。That true believers. Will have their sins and guilt taken away. 真正嘅信徒会有罪得赦免、罪业剔除。Will you ask with Isaiah? 你会唔会同以赛亚一样咁样去问？ How long? 这要到几时为止咧 ？Are you 
Are you bringing the good news of Jesus Christ to those around you? 你有冇将耶稣基督嘅好消息去话俾你身边嘅人知道 ？And you will find. 然之后你就会发觉 that there are many hardened hearts out there. 出边有好多硬嘅心。And all your many of your、uh, efforts will be、uh, without fruit. 你会徒劳无功。And you might be asking, how long will you have to continue to do that? 你亦都会问到究竟要到几时为止 ？Or maybe you will be asked. 又或许你会被问，这要到几时为止 ？How long will you turn a deaf ear? 你几耐仲要系耳不听见 ？A blind heart, a eye. 有眼却看不见。A fattened heart to the Lord. 心蒙自由。In Psalm 51, it says. 诗篇五十一篇咁讲到。O Lord, open my lips. And my mouth will declare your praise. My mouth will declare your praise. For you will not delight in sacrifice. You 跟你本不喜爱祭物。Oh, I will give it. 若喜爱我就献上。You will not be pleased with a burnt offering. 燔祭你也不喜悦。The sacrifices of God are a broken spirit and a contrite heart. 神所要嘅祭就是忧伤嘅灵。神啊，忧伤痛悔嘅心。Oh God, you will not despise. 你必不轻看。Confession is good for our souls. 认罪对我哋嘅灵系有好处嘅。Isaiah gave us that example. 以赛亚为我哋定立呢个榜样。As we encounter the living God. 当我哋遇着呢个活着嘅神。I want to give give us a time to pray now. 我想俾大家一段现在去祷告嘅时间。Because we are given the opportunity to encounter God this day. 我哋今日就有机会去能够与神相遇。So let us come and pray before the Lord. 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 Let us come and pray before And to acknowledge, our own unworthiness. Let us come and pray before the Lord. 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 Let us come and pray before the L
凭着我哋自己嘅本身。Sinners saved by the blood of Christ. 凭着耶稣基督补血所拯救嘅罪人。Made righteous because of His righteousness. 因为佢嘅公义，我哋能够披戴公义。Accept our worship, we pray. 我哋恳求你能够蒙悦纳我哋嘅敬拜。In Jesus' name, we ask. 我哋奉主耶稣基督嘅名字去恳求。Amen. Amen. Like us to stand. 我希望大家能够站起来。Like us to pray together this prayer. 我希望大家能够一齐去作呢个嘅祷告。In Psalm fifty, Psalm fifty-one. 喺诗篇嘅五十一篇。We will、uh, let's pray this together. 让我哋一同嘅去祷告。You can pray in English and or in,、uh, in Cantonese. 你可以用英文，亦都可以用广东话，甚至国。Let's pray together. 让我哋一齐去祷告。Have mercy on me, O God. According to your steadfast love, according to your abundant mercy, blot out my transgressions. Wash me thoroughly with my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin. For I know my transgressions and my sins is ever before me. Against you only I have sinned and done what is evil in your sight, so that you may be justified in your word and blameless in your judgment. May this be the prayer of our hearts. 让呢个成为我哋心里边嘅祷告。So, let us receive God's blessing. 让我哋去接受神嘅祝福。Together. 一起。May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God the Father and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you now and forevermore. 愿主耶稣基督嘅恩典常带在慈爱，圣灵传开，使你们同在。Wait. Let's continue、uh, in responding to God's word by singing our last hymn. 让我哋回应神嘅话语，唱出呢个嘅诗歌第四十四首。